Hey, it's Joey for Digital DJ Tips, and in this video, we're gonna take a look at Record Box Video. It's an add-on expansion for Pioneer DJ's Record Box software that lets you mix video files within Record Box DJ. So in this video, we're gonna do two things. First, I'm gonna give you a brief features and interface overview of Record Box Video, and then I'm gonna give you my thoughts on it so you can arrive at your own conclusions and whether or not you wanna integrate it into your Record Box DJ setup if you wanna get into video DJ. Let's get started. All right, so this is the Rekordbox DJ interface, and once you activate Rekordbox video, you can enable it by clicking on this button over here. You'll see the Rekordbox video interface show up in the middle of the screen. There are three displays here. The left and right boxes are video decks one and two. You can drag and drop videos here from your collection, just like you do with audio. The middle one is your preview monitor and is what will be displayed on screen if you've got your laptop hooked up to a projector, a TV, or an LED wall. Now if you double click it, the preview monitor window will pop out and that's what you drag over to the attached external display that you've got connected to your laptop. Just close that for now. Now over here at the bottom, you've got the video crossfader, which lets you transition between the two video decks. If you enable AV Sync, it ties the video crossfader to the audio crossfader in Record Box DJ's mixer. So whenever you move your crossfader in your controller, it moves at the same time. This makes it very easy to transition between video files since you're only dealing with one crossfader. So let's try that right now. I've got a few videos lined up here. Let's just go to my playlist called The Human Body. It's for a show that I'm preparing for, and you'll see why it's called a human body in a minute. So let's drag a video here to the left tech. There we go. And one on the right. Now I'm going to hit play on deck two, on the right deck. And we can hear it, and you can also see the video playing along with it. Let's just double click on the master preview monitor here to get a closer look. There you go. Now I'm going to try to mix in deck one. One, two, three, and doing a bit of beat matching here. Now I'm going to use my controller's crossfader. Move it to the center position, and as you can see, the video crossfader is moving along with it. Now I've got both decks playing, I can hear both decks, and I can also see the videos from both video decks. Now if I move my crossfader all the way to the left, I'm only going to hear what's playing in deck 1, the left deck, as well as see what's playing there, which is this skeleton, the full body skeleton. Okay, so for a minute, let's move uh, that crossfader back to the middle. And you can change the way that these transitions look just by clicking on the transition effects drop down here. And you've got a lot to choose from. So let's try a difference. There you go. So that's what it looks like. And let's try additive, which is a bit like a dissolve effect. And you can just uh, choose the next one if you want by clicking this button over here. You can map this to a button in your controller so you don't have to reach for your mouse when you're doing it. And you even have a randomizer over here. So it just randomly picks a transition effect for you. All right, cool. Let's stop that first. Apart from the transition effects, you also have touch effects, which give you an XY touchpad on the video decks and preview monitor. So there are a couple to choose from over here. Um, let's try this one strobe. And I'm just going to press on. And that turns the preview monitor into a touchpad. You've also got a high pass filter and a low pass filter here. Now, this is meant to be used with the DDJ RZX flagship which has three touch screens on board, but you can also just use your trackpad by clicking and holding like so. Uh, let's try it out. Let's play something here. Move my crossfader to the right. So we're displaying the skull. And I'm gonna 
touch on the master PV. You get a strobing effect. There you go. Instant party, I think. Great for buildups. And you've also got a bunch of other effects over here. If you don't want it to affect everything that's going through the master output, you can just choose uh, either deck one or deck two and apply the effect to that to that deck, I mean. So let's say you want to have a zoom effect over here and you want an edges effect for the left deck. Let's try that one and try to mix this in again. So you can affect each deck separately if you want. Of course, you'll probably want to apply it to the master portion just so it's a lot easier and simpler. So that's it for touch effects. You can also have record box video display a slideshow of photos. You can just drag those photos into a photo playlist like I've done over here, the festivals playlist, and then set it as a slideshow playlist. And do that by clicking on this and choosing set a slideshow playlist. It now creates an automated slideshow of images. So you just press play over here. And just play in your track and record box automatically switches from one photo to another. You don't need to uh, move the crossfader or do anything else. Stop that. And lastly, you can also choose to display text, images, and even a live camera feed using the overlay controls over here on the right. So let's try adding a message. Let's see. Hey guys, time to party. Then I can choose a font that I want. Go with an Arial, which is my favorite font of all time. And I'm gonna press preview, and you're gonna see it show up here. Now you can change the size by moving the size knob over here and you can uh, adjust its position just by dragging this little red dot. And you can also have it scroll from left to right by using this animation knob over here. Uh, nothing fancy, but I guess it gets the job done if you don't want a static piece of text showing up on your screen. There you go. So if you want to delete that, just press um, clear text button over here. And you can also add an image if you want. And you can also have a live camera feed. As I mentioned, just click on the camera button and choose the camera from the drop down menu. FaceTime HD. I'm going to click preview. And here I am. Hey guys, so while you're DJing or if you're doing like a, a really, really complex turntablism routine or controllerism routine. Uh, you can have like the camera positioned so that it shows what you're doing on your DJ gear. That's it for a record box video. Pretty straightforward if you ask me. All right, so what's the verdict? Well, if you want to get into VJing and you're already a record box DJ user with a compatible DJ controller like this DVJ RZ, then yes, record box video is the easiest way you can integrate video mixing into your workflow. The transition effects are useful, the touch effects are fun to manipulate, and last but not the least, the learning curve isn't that steep, especially if you're using the AV Sync, which ties the video crossfader to the audio crossfader for easy transitions. The only thing that I didn't like about Recordbox Video at the time of this filming was that it's still a little bit buggy. I'm using a 15-inch top-of-the-line MacBook Pro Retina, and once in a while, uh, I'd get crashes whenever I drop in a video file into one of the video decks. Not an ideal situation to be in, especially if you're at a gig. To be fair, this is a version 1 software, and Pioneer has been quick to issue updates. So hopefully, they can patch this one up pretty soon. Now, if you're not a record box DJ user, and you still want to get into VJing, there are other software to try. Virtual DJ has video mixing built in, 
Serato DJ has the Serato video add-on, which is kind of like what Rekordbox video is to Rekordbox DJ. And you can even try out third-party software like Mix Emergency, which we've already reviewed on the site. I'll post the link in the description box below, as well as more professional software solutions such as Resolume, which is what's being used in the biggest clubs and festivals around the world. So that's it for my talk through of Record Box video. I've got the full review over at the Digital DJ Tips website. The link is in the description box below. Please hit the thumbs up icon and hit that subscribe button if you are not a subscriber yet. My name is Joey. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.